the topic for today is how to paint grasses weeds and shrubs in acrylic paints now for this purpose we will make use of a flat brush and a hog hog hair flat brush which is a rather tough and scruffy brush which will help us in producing the texture of the grass very quickly now if you look at any short grasses you will find that the grass is green all right but the grass also contains darker greens and lighter greens making it look a mix of different tones of color so we choose burnt sienna sap green and lemon yellow at the onset we mix burnt sienna and sap green a little touch of burnt sienna and sap green so as to produce the darks of the grass and the gr the brush being scruffy will readily give us the texture of the grass as we toss or push the brush up and down so here we go bring a very rough brush a scruffy brush the grass is produced almost instantly so all the way from left to right and a little underneath we paint the grass first in one tone one dark tone which is obtained by mixing a touch of burnt sienna that is a brown to sap green now this looks like grass but is yet a little different from a natural looking grass the reason being it lacks tones at present it looks only one in tone so what we do is we dip without washing or <coughs> cleaning the brush we dip it in lemon yellow and give some additional strokes with lemon yellow on it this time pulling the brush down so in this manner we can easily produce grass with the help of acrylic paints so millions of blades of grass are depicted very easily and quickly by the use of a flat hog brush now let us turn to painting some weeds we may choose a pointed brush for that purpose and using the same color mixture dark green with uh, a burnt sienna we may just drag a few lines up and down and with some nervous jerky strokes produce some lines which are haphazard make use of what i call a cut brush which is basically a brush a thin brush the top of which has been chopped off with the help of a scissors dip this brush in the dark mixture and dab the brush several times so as to produce tiny leafy structure
you may dip the brush without washing into the yellow and add a few blobs of yellow here and there to indicate light striking the shrub or the weed we may add a bush by dabbing the cut brush more vigorously and producing a bulbous kind of a mass remember this cut brush will be of immense use as it creates the texture of plenty of leaves almost instantly of course you will never get this brush ready made in the market you may have to make one and it is simple with a little confidence just chop the top of the or rather the tip of the brush round brush with the help of a pair of scissors and your cut brush would be ready now in order to show a natural looking push i must create a shape which is very odd because bushes would grow anyhow so this is the darker portion of the bush now i add touches of lemon yellow with the same brush without rinsing or washing the brush and add it in pockets so as to indicate pure light falling on the upper regions of the bush areas of shadow may also indicate a few brilliant lit areas and areas of light may indicate pockets of shadows the cut brush is of immense use you may also select a thin round brush maybe number 3 and pick up same mixture and strike out a few <clears throat> branches here and there use a little thinner mixture diluted with water and produce a few twigs or branches striking out from here and there making it look very natural few younger twigs may strike out from the grass here and there making it look complete and beautiful thank you very much and if you have liked this video please touch the like button and subscribe for this channel thank you once again